Yeah, hello. All in the fields here. Uh, before I get into cigar-related business, just a quick update. I wanted to report to you, for any of you that happen to be in a um, post-concussion state, that one of the best things you can possibly do, and I was a little nervous about whether it would be a good thing or not, but it turned out to be one of the best, is um, get on a boat, get out on the ocean, catch a few fish, or at least try, have yourself a good time that way, and uh, of course while you're out there, smoke some cigars. Uh, I went out on Sunday on a family, uh, family charter with all of the male members of my family. Uh, we caught uh, black sea bass, we caught ling cod, we caught a whole bunch of black tick sharks, uh, we caught uh, oyster, cracker, uh, toadfish, which are ugly as sin but fun to catch. Uh, good time had by all, and apparently the motion of the ocean was just what the doctor ordered for me. So anyway, now on to cigar-related things. You know, with, uh, with the uh, ICPCR, IC, IPCPR, uh, with the big trade show, coming up in just a few weeks, it, it, we are big into uh, new cigar introduction season, and all of the players are going to be coming on board with new cigars for us to all get excited about, and one of them is something that's been uh, in the works for at least a year, uh, and I've certainly been looking forward to it, and now it's here. There's been some buzz about it, so we figured we'd jump right on it and find out how it is. It is The Sanctum by Alec Bradley. As always, stellar packaging, beautiful looking box, uh, dynamite presentation, good looking cigars. Uh, what are they? Well, the Alec Bradley Sanctum is a nice combination of things. It's actually a five-country blend. The wrapper, you know how I love to show wrapper. Uh, the wrapper is beautiful. It's a uh, Honduran Corojo. Uh, there are other country, uh, companies that are better known for their Corojos. But uh, this is a good one, uh, or it certainly looks like a good one. Just a little bit of oil. The veining is nice, almost a distressed look to it. And that looks good. The binder, a little bit unusually, the binder is Costa Rican. Uh, Costa Rican should be interesting. Typically a, a good amount of flavor in Costa Rican. And the Costa Rican binder sounds particularly good. And the filler is uh, Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Honduran. Uh, so it sounds like a, a whole party of flavors. And if we do our standard issue end on view, it certainly looks like there's a considerable quantity of Lajero in there, um, which bodes well for intensity of flavor. So it's it's all of the good things. It smells yummy. So let's see what this cigar is all about after all. Construction is uh, very firm. Definitely not a underfilled cigar by any means. Use my patented multi-fanged pole cutter and the pre-light draw is great and it's got an interesting flavor it's a tiny bit sweet in a natural tobacco kind of way uh, almost a fruity flavor um, definitely not what I would typically expect from Corojo it doesn't taste pre-light at least spicy or strong it tastes rich, it is definite strong tobacco flavor, and this slight 
sweet fruity note. But now let's do with this cigar what we're supposed to do with this cigar. first hit, the cigar tastes exactly like a pre-light draw, except smokier, but it's definitely um, a little bit sweet, a little bit fruity, with some nice, uh, comfortable, fresh tobacco notes. Yeah. It's not a strong cigar, at least not in this initial puff. draw is excellent and for a firm cigar to draw like this is sheer heaven. You know this is the hardest part of doing these reviews because what I would love to do is sit here for an hour and just chat with you while I smoke the cigar and talk about whatever and mix in whatever I happen to think about the cigar itself, but you don't have that kind of time, and neither do I. So, as usual, what I'm going to do is smoke a little bit more of it, and then uh, leave you to your business, leave myself to smoking at my leisure, and then rejoin you to tell you what has happened in the interim. I wasn't kidding before about the uh, fishing, by the way. I was terrified about whether I was going to get sick on the boat because vertigo is definitely uh, a big part of things after a major concussion. But I had absolutely no problem. If anything, I would say I felt like I had more balance and self-control and coordination on the boat than I do on dry land. Maybe I should just stay out there. As long as I have enough cigars, actually, that would work pretty well for me. I could be on a boat all day, every day. As I'm going, the uh, cigar develops a little bit more, but just a little bit, of that kind of heavier slightly spicy note that you would more reasonably anticipate from a Corojo. Um, it's hitting, that note is hitting mostly the front of the palate. Um, the, the other flavors, that slight uh, sweetness, yeah, fruitiness, and tobacco flavor is sort of hitting the rest of my mouth. Retro hail is delicious. <coughs> A little more of the spices there in the retro hail than there is in the actually a lot more of the spices in the retro hail than within the in the regular puff. This is a very good cigar. Uh, it's developing more body with every puff. So while I, I would still not say that it is by any means a strong cigar, uh, it's a full flavored cigar. The spiciness is building up. Sweetness is just backing down a hair. Smoke. 
production is good. Alec Bradley has done a very good job of building anticipation for this cigar. They've actually been gradually hyping it more and more since the trade show last year. So we're coming up on a year, basically, that they've been sort of feeding out little tidbits about it uh, without too much detail. Um, so now desire to buy it and taste it is pretty high, uh, and it's just Basically, it's just beginning to hit the street as we speak. So, I'm going to back off, or at least I'm going to back down, turn off the camera, smoke my cigar, uh, and come back and see you in a bit. Enjoy. No, I'm gonna. This is a good cigar. <laughs> the camera's on. Lucky I wasn't picking my nose. Well, as you can see, I'm uh, quite a bit farther into the smoke. I've been enjoying it immensely. Um, a lot has happened to this cigar in the time since I left you. Uh, first of all, the sweet fruitiness backed way off. The spiciness built up a lot. Then it backed down a little bit, and it was replaced by a really pleasant, creamy, <clears throat> creamy nuttiness um, that really coats your whole palate. A great combination of flavors, like cream and nuts. And then the spice started to come back in. So now, instead of being fruity and sweet and tobacco-y and spicy. It's nutty and creamy and spicy. And there's still just a hint of that sweet, fruity flavor. This is actually a surprisingly complex cigar. You know, Alec Bradley is not one of those companies that has continuous new releases. Uh, they usually gang one or two together, maybe three at the most, in the middle of the year, and then it's quiet most of the rest of the year. Um, I personally think they've hit a major home run with this one. Uh, it, by the way, comes in four sizes. Um, all fairly typical, a Robusto, a Toro, uh, a big thing that I think they call a double Churchill or something like that, and a, and a Gordo size. Um, the prices are in the high six to mid nine dollar range, maybe ten for the six by sixty. Um, not out of range for a first quality smoke, and this is absolutely a first quality smoke. Those of you that are cursed with being in a high tobacco tax state, of course, are going to pay a little more. Uh, but this is an excellent cigar. I'm very impressed. You know, Alec Bradley has come out with uh, a few big winner home runs that won all kinds of awards. Uh, they've come out with some that were just okay in my book, and some that fell in between somewhere that were better than just okay, but not earth-shaking. Uh, this is just a damn fine cigar. It never got strong. It's never a challenge. It's an easy-going smoke with an absolute ton of flavor and enough spice to really satisfy 
anybody that wants a full flavored cigar and enough complexity to demand all of your attention. So do yourself a favor. If your local smoke shop uh, gets them in, check them out. Definitely worth a shot. Definitely worth more than just a shot. Uh, and if you get a chance, hop on a boat, catch some fish, and no matter what else you do, smoke often and smoke happy. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.